Hey guys, they like Dave. We're out. Yeah, I guess I better not talk too uh too loud. I got two cats and they're passed out of sleep. Uh, it is Sunday morning. It's still somewhat cool in here. It's about the only time I can come out here in the morning. So, but I'm gonna talk about my track just for a couple minutes, and then Daylight Dave's gonna run a train, and it's a badass train. So we'll just go through this real quick. Um. So I would say about maybe 40% of my layout is hand laid track, not the switches. I don't have any hand laid switches. I wish I kind of had a few. I've done that in the past. That's a lot of work. Um, but anyways, each uh, tie is individually hand laid and then the rails put on top of it. And the reason I'm kind of talking about this is it's been so hot here. And when I get, get into a heat wave, um, uh, sometimes I get heat kinks and sure enough well, I'm in Oakland right now, but I had a really good heat kink um, There in Stockton And let's go Stockton hang on uh, Before we go to Stockton, I'll show you my little track uh, What am I trying to say? Track template or track Okay, let's try that again tie jig. It's a tie jig so when I was over the years, um, I used to buy these. Um, they stopped making them a number of years ago, probably 10 years ago or something like that. But I bought anywhere from 20 to 30 of these darn things. There's a thousand individual um, weather ties in there. And I still have, this is my last pack, about half full or something like that. But what I would do is I put down each tie here, uh, take tape, and then roll across. And then pull it over, and then the next thing. And I'd make maybe about a six foot, um, uh, I don't know, tape of ties. So, but anyways, as you can tell, these were all raised pieces of wood, and over the years, it's just completely worn down. Okay, let's call this doctor. Oh, everybody be quiet. Okay, so the track on the left here, you know, I went to run a train here the other day, and I was coming through here going uh, this direction away from the camera. And all of a sudden, I just went on the ground. And I'm like, wait a second, why did it go on the ground? I didn't run the switch or anything like that. Um, but this is homosote. This material is homosote. There's the homosote exposed. And when it gets really hot, I get earthquakes. In other words, um, the homosote shrinks up and dries out. So all that to say, when it shrinks up, well, something's got to give. The rail doesn't shrink at all. So this was like spaghetti. I looked down the line there. And because it was so tight, there was no gaps here. Um, it looked like spaghetti all the way down. Both rails looked like spaghetti. So I'm like, oh, great, heat kink. So it's an easy fix. I just take my little Dremel saw, and I nipped at it. I just take a little nip. It doesn't take much just to take out a little section of the rail. There's my little, uh, well, I won't say it's Dremel, but it's uh, imitation, Harbor Freight Tools imitation. And there's a cutoff whale. Okay, let's go run a train. Come on, Daylight Dave. Let's go to work, buddy. Hey, the crew just got on board here, on board our train here. Uh, the other crew died here in Stockton, so we're going to take it over to Oakland. And um, guess who's here? God, I guess she got back. She was in Vegas there for a while doing some time, uh, if you know what I mean. But um, Holly's back. Yeah. And I got some new brakeman. Um, his last name is Stuart. Uh, I guess his first name's Rod. And he's out there chatting with her. I go, oh, no, please don't bring her on board. Oh, it's going to be trouble. Okay, let's get this train moving. And this is a badass train. Here we go. Oh, great. I guess they're going to ride in the second unit. Oh, thank God. I don't want to know what's going on. Hey, by the way, um, if you guys know Rod Stewart, um, obviously you guys do. But, um, man, he's got a cool train layout. He's in HO trains, too. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Daylight Dave. Let's go, buddy. Oh, yeah, by the way, when I crank this train up, it's going to be hard to hear me, so and you'll understand why. Okay, here we go. Yeah, switch crew's working. Okay, we got, uh, we got the power up. We got the lamp cranked up. Uh, we're on the move. Let's go. We got a bit of a train here. Come on, let's go to work, Daylight Dave. Okay, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. As I kill that bell. I'm going to pan out. Oh, there's one of my uh, engines I fixed. I fixed two so far. Man, he runs great. Oh, man, how many engines we got on this thing? Okay, I got 13 engines, all with sound. And, man, they run so good. Oh, here's the other one I fixed, too. Um, uh, I fixed him the other day, so he runs great, too. So, two down, four to go. We're all back up here. Let's see the whole train now. 
I don't know how far I'm going to get with this darn thing. Um, because I might overload the booster. I got one booster up in this upper level, so we'll see what happens. There was only one other time where I overloaded it and drawn too much current. Ooh, sweet! 13 engines! Oh, by the way, all these engines are going to scrap! See ya! See ya, Sonar, except for this guy. He's my favorite. Go oh, daylight day, come on, we got the power. Why are you slowing down, buddy? Come on, man. I wonder if we're slowing down. Come on, just back and give us a signal. Cross us over. We gotta cross over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got a little chat with the dispatcher. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, cool, we just got a signal. Diverging advanced approach. Excuse me. Diverging advanced approach. Red over flashing yellow. Let's go, daylight day. Man, does that run good at slow speed or what? Come on, throttle up. Throttle up, daylight day. Hey, scrap fill USA, buddy. Ah, that torpedo boat's gonna get sunk. Come on, daylight day. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Oh, sweet! A little low shot there. Here's my train here. I'll walk along, show you the whole thing. Man, keeps on going. Ooh, BNSF Diamond. All red, all red, buddy. Man, how long is this train? Man, we're back here by the chemical company. Oh, geez, oh, there's a tail end. Golden West Service. On the move here, hey. Eh? Not like we don't have enough power. Ooh, sweet. Sweet mother pearls. Ooh, Sandy Willits. He's flying. Looking good, brother. Man, where's Mr. Stewart at? Come on, buddy. How long are you going to be back there? Ooh, sweet. Ooh, sweet. Oh, we got a bad signal there. He goes through that other crossover. He's got a second crossover over there. Hey, going across the sail feeding river. You know, one thing about um, running this much power, you actually draw more current. It takes more, obviously, uh, more energy to get the train up the hill, so you're going to draw more current. So we'll see what happens with my uh, booster. NCA booster, hey. Looking pretty darn good. I got to keep the throttle close to me in case we have an incident. Going easy. Fumbles away. Fumble. My midway siding. Got to clear in the other end there, the west end. We're pulling. Wish I had some scenery here. It's a good sign. At least the first 10 cars made it around the curve without um, string line in the darn thing. Okay, daylight day. Hey, clear signal. Clear signal there, west midway. Oh, good. Oh, looking good. Working. Doesn't it sound cool? Man, I love the sound of this when you run a bunch of engines. Going over the bridge here at Altamont. Here's my upper booster. The bottom one is for my lower level, and obviously I'm not down there yet so I'll we'll crank that up but um, yeah just the upper level for that booster right there we're still moving we're still pulling coming up to the bridge here at Altamont the big bridge man so far so good yeah and that 2416 um, like I said I took him all apart and um, redid the wire just like I did the other engine and Replace the headlight too, just before I put the shell on. I go, oh, that's right, there's a part with the headlight. So I 
Put a new bulb in there, it was burned out. On the bridge, look it up. Ooh, sweet, take that intermediate. That's a pretty cool shot. Oh, here's my staging underneath uh, Pleasanton. And there's a heat kink uh, with my flex track. Oh, great. My headlight burned out. And those headlights burn out so fast. Oh, boy. Something else to fix. Ooh, looks good. Pleasanton, man. You guys got to get to work. Come on, load some of those cars. Put some ballast in there. We need some rock. Going over the diamonds here, rate them. Down the curve. Yeah, there's my train. Oh, gotta love that remote. CP60. On the move. West Pleasant Yeah, we'll be going through that tunnel here in a minute. Bob, well, I hope you're not burning up. At least you got some green foliage to chew on. Hey, while we're waiting for the train here, I thought I'd mention, you know, as far as that ditch light, how it burned out on me. Um, you know, you're still good for uh, track speed, max speed. But if both ditch lights burn out, and obviously if you know about it, um, you got to go 20 over the road crossings if you lose them both. But I'm not sure if you're running the train, all of a sudden they both burn out on you. It's like, well, how do you know that? That's another train tells you. Oh, here we go. Call you one eye. Diving into T1. Down the line. We're all back up so you can see the whole shot. When I designed this, I kind of like to see um, come out of one tunnel and then you dive into another tunnel. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, by the way, just remember, I got another train under there. Um, BNSF train, but he's parked on the other track there, so I was thinking, uh oh man, I'm gonna slam right into him, but yeah, luckily he's on the inside. Inside rail, so we're good, we're good. Oh, bah, bah. oh there's Freddy. See you later, buddy. Flashing away. Oh, let's go, let's go. So this is where I can kill off the upper level and I crank up the lower level. And my main, um, my main, what do you ever call it? Uh, my main command station. Um, he runs my Helix uh, all the way up to East Pleasanton and to Fremont. So that's why I can kind of, it's kind of a leapfrog how I do it. Hey, we just got a call from Mr. Modelo there at uh, Niles uh, Junction. He's asking just uh, for us to make a quick little stop there. Uh, at the tower, we're like, okay, we have to find out what's going on. Not sure what's going on. Why wants us to stop? I will figure this out. We're like, hey, what's going on, man? I got a heavy dog going downhill too, man. Turn on my headlights. There we go. Gotta burn them out for a second. Mr. Modelo, come on, here we'll stop here. Okay, 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 I'm coming on stop. Come on, we'll stop eventually. Come on, buddy, what's going on? Okay, guys, hey, we figured it out. Man, I can't believe this. What a way to run a railroad. Oh, man, let's go to Oakland. Oh, Holly. Golly, girl, man. What a stop for you. Oh, this is ridiculous. Man, I'm 
having issues down here in the lower level. Let's see if I can put the camera down over here. Let's close that. Okay, guys, I'm out of my about 15 minutes. You can still hear me. I'm having to talk over all these engines. So appreciate you guys watching. It's been fun. And, uh, man, I hope it cools down. That's all I can say. Otherwise, i got to keep on fixing track and everything. But, uh, anyways, appreciate all the nice comments and all the, you guys, especially my subscribers. So, uh, in the meantime, hey, have a great week. Daylight Dave, hey, I'm signing out.